Today, I thought we'd look at how to use Luma Curves to control exposure on your footage in Adobe Premiere. Luma Curves are great. They allow you to control the highlights, but also maintaining the mid ranges of the luminance in your clips. They come in very handy for a whole bunch of different situations. I use Luma Curves a lot to help control exposure, and it does a much better job than controlling exposure overall in a clip, which is very easy to do in Adobe Premiere. Um, Luma Curves just give you a little bit better control. To find Luma Curves that are located in your effects panel, you can search for Luma Curves. Or if you want, you can make a custom bin like I have. And you can see it right there. So we'll bring that over into your clip. Now, for example, when we're looking at this clip, this is a clip of when I was in Greece. Nice clip, but we can see over here that, you know, we're pretty close to being overexposed. We're right on the border. So say we want to rein that in a little bit, but we don't want to, for example, darken the whole clip like here, you know. So we can bring in our highlights, you know, maybe have them around 90 IRE. And then say we want to kind of bring up the mid range of the luminance right around here. So we can do that and just boost that up. So you've controlled your highlights and you can even bring those down a little bit if you want more. And uh, at the same time, we brought up some of the mid range here to get rid of you know some of the areas that may have been in shadow. Um, and this is a great way to help you control your exposure better and more accurately. If you want to preserve, for example, cloud detail, um, at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice any of the mid ranges, you can do that. You know, it really helps you isolate areas of exposure that you might normally not have control over just doing general exposure because you can really kind of manipulate the overall exposure and certain areas of the exposure of certain clips. And you can even, you know, give your footage a completely different look as well. So that's a little bit regarding Luma Curves, and I hope that helps you out. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you.